Okay, this is going to be a quick demo about uh, TTL or time to live in Route 53. So TTL is basically how long um, a DNS um, system, in this case Route 53, waits before, uh, actually how long the client waits before getting a fresh IP from the DNS uh, server. So by default, um, you know, once once a client does a lookup of a DNS, it's going to cache it locally, and then when the TTL expires, it's going to then go back to the DNS server and get um, a new IP address for that domain name. So in our case, I'm just going to do a quick demo. I'm going to say this is I'm inside the Route 53 dashboard, and if I go into hosted zones here, I have a hosted zone that's already here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new record set. Um, I'm going to call this TTL test. And as far as the IP, I'm going to show you what I did here. So I created two instances. In Basically, one each one is in a different availability zone. One is in 1A, one is in US East 1A, and one is in US East 1D. And I created each of these EC2s with um, user data that installs Apache and um, shows a, a custom web page that displays the host name and the availability zone that it's in. So this way we can we can see how the DNS is working. So for instance, here's the first one. Here's the public IP. If if I paste that in, so it shows you the host name and it's US East 1A. And if I go to the second one, paste that one. It's going to show US East 1D. So that way we can tell how the DNS is, and the TTL is working. So I'm going to paste the first IP address of the first instance. So this one right here, 5490.178.108. And I'm going to paste it in here. And here's the TTL right here. This is going to be an A record, and I'm going to make it very short. I'm just going to make it 30 seconds, so that way we can see quickly how it changes. And I'm going to call this, so TTL-test, and then I'm going to create it. So now, if I scroll down, uh, so it's right here. This is, this is the record right here. So I should be able to, if I access that, if I access that URL, it should bring up the message from the first EC2 instance. And let me just copy that. Well, let me do, I think I have it saved here. Uh, okay, not this one. This one right here. Oops. Okay, that didn't work. Let me see. TTL dash test dot se dash platform uh, dash dev ah sorry I should have been TTL test not test TTL TTL dash test okay there it is so now it's showing as US East 1A so so now we know it's resolving what I'm going to do is I'm also going to go on the on the command command line, and I'm going to run an, an NS lookup and a, um, a dig command. So I'm going to, I'm going to run this command here, ttl-test, okay, so there it is, so 54, so 5490-178-108 which is the IP of that first instance. Okay, so that was an NS lookup. If I run the same command but with dig, it's going to give me a little bit more information. It's going to show me how much time is left on the TTL. So if I do the dig command, I actually see right there it's showing as the same IP, 5490.178.108, but it shows I got 30 seconds left in the, in the TTL. If I run it again, it's now showing 17. If I run it again, it's now showing 12. So as you can see, it's counting down until it expires. So now it's eight, and then when it gets to zero, it'll go back up to 30 seconds. 
So now it's three seconds. Okay, now it's one second. Okay, there, well, jumped. So now it's 27 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that record in Route 53 to point to the second EC2 instance, which is this one right here, <clears throat> with this IP, 383, 193, 189. We copied that. I go to Route 53. I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to save that record. Okay, so, so I updated it in Route 53, but because of the TTL, it doesn't propagate right away. So because if I try to access that same URL, it's going to keep showing US East 1A. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did a very quick TTL, so that's why it automatically changed. So now it's 1D. Okay, so now it is showing the second one. So I'm going to change it back to the first one and try the test again very quickly to show that um, it's not going to display it right away because it has to wait for the TTL to expire. So let's try pasting the first, the first IP, which is this one here. I go back to Route 53, paste that. Okay, and then if I go here, so it's, so see, it's still displaying 1D because we have to wait for it to expire. So I put in a pretty short ex expiration of only 30 seconds, but as you can see, just because I changed it in Route 53 doesn't mean it's going to update it right away. So it's not expired yet in the browser. It's not showing the, the updated uh, message in the browser. If I go to my command line and I do dig, it's showing 5490.178.108, which is, which is, it is displaying the correct URL, uh, the correct IP address of the first instance. But as you can see, it wasn't displaying it yet in the browser. Should be now, should work now. So if I refresh it now, it should show the US East 1A. There it is. So now it's showing US East 1A, and that shows you how the TTL works.